Hi, it's Craig here. Friday 26th of April. It's been a little bit of time since I recorded one of these um, writing everyday video blogs, although that's not an indication of lack of writing uh, or thinking about writing or trying different processes. I've been very constant. Um, I've been working on some other uh, things, some essays, um, even some poetry and some different formats not to take away from the novel which all of those things are really funneling into uh, and uh, I guess my reason for doing this recording is it's a good time uh, to do it and check in and give an update. Um, I, I feel I think I feel on a lifestyle level like I've had my most successful couple of weeks of writing even though I haven't produced as much uh, as I have at some other times where I have been very consistent each day and, and what I mean by, by by that level of lifestyle writing success is that um, I've worked on some new techniques for thinking and writing that are just really enjoyable. Um, I think one of the things I've been having a bit of tr uh, tr trouble with was uh, spending so much time in front of the computer for the working day that I was having a bit of trouble some mornings getting up at you know six o'clock and thinking I need to sit down in front of the computer for a couple of hours. I've already got tired eyes, um, and then doing that, and then going into a work day, and it's just a lot of lots of screen time. One of the things that I had tried earlier in the year was um, having a notepad um, with with me to write on, and have a bit of a break from the screen, which was very useful. Um, but the most useful thing for me, uh, which is Funny, it's something that I had tried, uh, or I've really tried through my entire, you know, writing life since my teenage years in, in terms of trying different pieces of technology to dictate and to record voices, which I'm sure so, so many of us try all the time, but um, I have found a, a really great process that's working well for me, um, which is to get up go for a nice walk some mornings uh, by the beach um, and have my airpods in I talk to myself um, and uh, I do it for a little while with no music playing um, and not recording just talking but it looks uh, semi reasonable because uh, the airpods are in um, and I could be making a phone call and I just talk to myself to get words flowing and ideas out and get into the practice of talking, thinking. And then when I'm uh, fairly established in wanting to actually start to record thoughts um, on either the novel or essay pieces of writing or other things that I've been considering, um, I start to record a voice memo and I record, uh, say what I'd like to say and then I use um, some software that turns that recording into a transcription. I go through with my headphones and check the transcription's accurate. Um, and it's just been such a lovely way of, of thinking and getting thoughts out and keeping that flow going, turning it into concrete writing. Um, and I've, I've been very productive you know, in that and also feel healthier <laughs> and just really enjoying that nice, um, you know, that nice walk, that nice capacity to get outside and not just be straight in front of the computer. Um, and while I had been focusing it more on essay style thinking and writing, I tried the other evening to direct it towards the novel and it was really good in terms of generating um, not prose but the content for prose um, and also planning and thinking about connections within the novel that I hadn't otherwise thought about, but are very important. Um, so I'm going to keep that going. One of the things I did today was I woke up very early at about 5 o'clock, 
and I came down um, to write. Um, and and I started out by thinking about timelines and what I need to write to really meet um, or to, to finish the, the book. And what I'd really like to do is to finish the book by the end of June, by June 30, 1st of July. In terms of a first draft, in terms of having the first draft of the entire novel written out, which I have not been able to achieve so far. I've had many, you know, I've written an eighth of the book, a, si a sixth of the book, restart, write it again, restart. The, the focus for this is that I'm really happy with the structure that I've got. I think the it's the best version of the book and other times I have also said that, but it does keep improving and I'm really happy with this structure and I don't see any need to change it. Um, I'm going to write it through and with regards to timelines, there are about 60 something days um, until June 30. And if I, is it, okay, so I say there's, I think there's 61 days, maybe 66, anyway, I can't remember. There's 60 something days until July and I have around uh, 60,000 words to write in the book. I'm about 8,000 words in, I've got 60,000 left. I know what the words are going to be. Um, it's all structured out and mapped out. I just need to write it. And uh, what that means is if I do a thousand words a day, I can get it written and uh, get the first draft all finished by the end of June, which would be a huge achievement. Um, some of the things I'm not letting stop me are stylistic considerations, writing. It's funny, I've just started using, um, I've started using Grammarly in the past couple of days and have been pretty blown away by just what a good writing coach it is for a particular type of writing. Um, I, I do want to keep a very particular stylistic approach to my words, but I do know that um, some of my sentences are way too long and confusing and Grammarly has been amazing at really helping to tighten those and when I rewrite them I think well it does sound much better as these shorter sentences instead of these big complicated ones. Um, so that's something that will come and I, I always say that just get the words down and do the editing later but more than ever I know I've got a really good support to help do that um, which is which is great. Um, so I, I guess I'm saying I've never felt better about the tools that I'm using to write and think to blend lifestyle with writing if I am sensible and strong and get my thousand words a day out in a smooth progressive line um, over the next two and a half months or not two and a half months the next two months then I will achieve my goal of having written out this novel in, in that time and then I can work on it and do things with it. After June 30 my my life is going to change in terms of um, family uh, circumstances and professional circumstances. Uh, they're all good things but they are transitional shifts that mean my lifestyle of being able to sit down here um, and write with the time that I've got each morning may change because I'll be doing a bit more movement um, in, in lots of ways. So uh, it really is very important that I do get that done. It's not just a, wouldn't it be nice? Um, part of me feels like the novel is going to live or die based on whether I can do a thousand words a day until June 30. So um, that's the commitment. Uh, in terms of making it happen, um, writing each morning is, is the answer. <clears throat> and it, it takes me about about two hours to write a thousand words. I feel I do about 500 words an hour. In terms of thinking and making the connections and processing and putting it down, an, an hour, 500 or so words, take a little break if possible, do another 500 words. Um, but it means, um, I mean that means getting up at five, being in front of the computer at 5.30, 
to 6.30, maybe a little break, and then between 7.30 and 8, ra wrapping up. <coughs> so, uh, that's the plan, and if I don't finish it on the morning, so I get, um, like this morning, I got 750 words done, which was a section of the, the goal was 500, I did 750, um, but I would like to do a, another section. I, I won't have time now to do it because I'm going to start working for, 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 for the day on other things. <clears throat> so it means making a commitment to find time in the evening to do that extra bit of writing and I've just got to, I've got to make that happen because if I don't, um, it, that's a tricky balance because I know the only time to write is on the morning. If I stay up and, and if I stay up late and write, then it pushes back the success of the following day and the dominoes just fall over until um, I'm too tired to actually wake up and do that writing of the morning. <coughs> so the morning is sacrosanct in that it needs to be, I need to be awake at a good time, all that needs to happen. The, the principle of maybe doing a little bit of catch up in the evening, um, whereas I, I would rather do no catch up in the evening, I'd rather just go for a walk and do those sorts of things and play um, and have family time. But um, if it's a matter of 250 words that I need to catch up on, <coughs> I need to make the decision either to uh, wake up a little early the next morning to get those words done or try and do them um, in the evening at some period that I can make that work. So uh, we will see how we go. But the, the motivation, the lesson for me is get it done in the morning so it doesn't slip down into the evening because if it slips into the evening it'll it'll just muck things up for the next day mornings make it work so uh yeah i don't, don't know if i'll record one i'm not going to record these each day um uh, as is clear <laughs> from my track record but i will update even just once a week um i think from this point a weekly a weekly catch up to uh, inform of how i'm going 7,000 words a week. Uh, so the next time we chat, I'll uh, have 15,000 words up my sleeve, which will be, I should be at the, uh, at the start of chapter three by that stage. All right, you have a good day and I'll see you then.